Hi there, I'm Sean Wilmot and today we're going to be looking at the Honda CRV, the new generation, and we're going to be using this, the Sport Premium, as our star of the show. Honda CRV was first launched 23 years ago and times have changed. Today's CRV, however, is still a reliable, comfortable and sophisticated SUV. You can see some of the CRV's sophistication in the redesigned front end, which has seen a wider, blocked out black grille. And from here, it goes straight across through to the LED headlights and fog lamps that are down the bottom. Tracking around the side, you can start to see the shoulder lines starting to creep through there with the bold chiseled look at the front of the straight lines across the bonnet. Looking down from there, you can see elements of sophistication with the Y-shaped alloys, which are exclusive to the Sport Premium model, and those are wrapped around with the 19-inch tyres. Going down the side of the vehicle, we can see that really pronounced shoulder line, which takes it all the way back to the rear end, which has been redesigned completely, with new smoke tail lights, a new bumper section, and of course, those big, bold exhaust system treatments down the back end. The CRV is most likely to impress you with all the technology it has on board when you're actually on the road. So let's go take our centerpiece for a drive. Now part of the appeal of course is that there is a lot of tradition involved in a Honda CRV, but there is also a lot of innovation that goes with it. And that really summarizes exactly the sort of person that's buying the CRV overall. It's anybody. So the natural hunting preserve for the CRV is basically anywhere you like, but it is most at home in city environments. And again, this is where innovation really comes into its own. For example, Honda has instilled in the CRV a system called Lane Watch, which is absolutely brilliant. It really makes cross lane changing an uneventful and unsurprising act because you can see exactly what's alongside the car at any one time. As to the outputs, well, these are fairly straightforward and simple as well. We're looking at 140 kilowatts of power, and we're looking at around about 240 newton meters of torque. All of which is nice and simple and smooth, but it does re-emphasize the fact that we've got a very refined powertrain. Normally when you talk about turbochargers with people, they immediately think, oh wow, instant acceleration. Not the case. This one is a turbocharged system that is designed primarily for fuel efficiency. And the Honda CRV is a very fuel efficient vehicle. With the CRV, Honda has packaged a whole lot of modern safety contrivances into what it calls the Honda Sensing Active Safety Technology Suite, which is one heck of a mouthful. But then so is what comprises that suite. So in that system, we would have the collision mitigation braking system. We would have forward collision mitigation systems. We would have road departure mitigations, and that's a new one on me. We've also got lane departure warning and lane keep assist, which is fairly much standard these days and of course the kernel that holds it all together is the adaptive cruise control and that's where everything spans out from that one particular system. Hondas have always impressed me with their handling and over the years I've driven a good many Hondas who have come up with some really, really interesting ideas about how handling should be dealt with. But there is one defining factor that I, if you ask me to sum it all up in one word and what's the constant, it's basically flat handling. Every single Honda I've ever driven, very, very flat corner. So it goes around a corner nicely just like a train on rails. There's no body roll, and that is really, really good when you're dealing with a family. Um, anybody who's ever driven with kids in the back who've had a few too many lollies or a bit too much fizzy will understand exactly where I'm coming from. Hondas have always managed to pull this off brilliantly, and with the CRV, I think it's probably the best testimonial ever. Easily accessed from every angle, the new generation CRV interior reflects style, sophistication and refinement. You can also appreciate the space, legroom, headroom and storage, remembering that the CRV offers seven or five seat variants. And on the seats, these are more like leather clad lounges with the most comfortable headrest you're ever likely to find. The cabin also features noise cancelling elements for serene open road cruising, but while the CRV is like a reading room on 19 inch alloys, it is technologically brilliant as well. The connectivity potential is huge. CRV has two charge ports in the rear and a further two up the front, just above the wireless charging pad. It gets conventional up around the gear shifter, but then we have the intelligent dual zone climate control across all models. 
This air conditioning unit uses GPS to determine sun's position to maximise the cooling effect. Above that is a new 7-inch colour touchscreen integrating Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Garmin Navigation, as well as the rear and side camera views. So here we are at beautiful Piha Beach with the striking red, which is one of the brand new colours. There are seven of those, by the way. Um, it really does look the business. We've had a lovely drive out here. The vehicle has handled the roads out to Piha absolutely magnificently. Proof of the pudding is I've stepped out of this car feeling fresh as a daisy. And you can't ask for much more than an SUV than that.